Some of the window sills have chip paint, the cabinets have chip paint. I find that when you live in a house with seven kids, stuff just takes maintenance. I have some friends coming in town. Um, actually, they'll probably already be in town and, and gone once this actually goes live, but I am going to do some things to prepare. So currently, Luke and the older four are broken. going are on a float trip with this my family. Broken. And so I have the three little boys. And I'm gonna attempt And this is me, Micah. <laughs> through and all let's of that. go. Bye bye. To get some stuff done. So obviously my friends can come and I don't have to spruce up my house. I don't have to clean it top to bottom. I don't have to do some of the repainting I'm gonna do, but I just want to. So it is a really good motivator that there's gonna be some people staying in my house <laughs> for Hello, about four days um, to do some of those things. Some of the window sills have chip paint, the cabinets have chip paint. I find that when you live in a house with seven kids, stuff just takes maintenance. We were talking about this recently with the front porch. We had it all done and beautiful last year and then this year we repainted the the rocking chairs, the porch swing, the porch itself, the spindles, stuff just, nothing lasts forever. And so I'm excited to do some of this work. I also have high hopes of sewing some curtains for the boys room. That's not all gonna happen today, no chance. But I might go get some fabric. I also need to get a new air conditioning unit because it's gonna be 100 degrees every day my friends are here. And I had these big plans of people staying in the cottage. So we have, three bedrooms, the living room, and then the cottage, and that was all gonna be perfect. But turns out, I'm just learning here in the last couple days, that the air conditioner unit that we have can't keep up with it in the cottage Mom, with this heat because it's not insulated very well. And um, normally throughout the year, that's fine. It's literally been a problem the last couple days, and my friends are coming in a couple days, so we're gonna see if we can do it. All right. These would be absolutely perfect if they weren't 84. We have to get custom everywhere we go because of our ceiling height, which I don't feel like our ceiling height is that unusual. So it's always surprising to me that you can't just find um, 100 inch uh, curtains. Why do they always have to be so short? See, those are pretty too. I really like these, so pretty. Fresh new towels for, for our guests. My efforts over these last several days to prepare for this retreat has involved maintaining a lot of the things that we need to maintain as homemakers over the years and making our homes more comfortable. I know in our family, this means grabbing fresh white towels every once in a while, putting our sheets out into the sun to really bleach them and make them whiter. For the boys room here, which I'm gonna be hosting two of my friends here in this particular room, I needed fresh new bedding to make their beds more comfortable. These beds are brand new, the mattresses are brand new. We're, we're graduating a few kids from a toddler bed up to a twin. I wanna tell you about today's video sponsor, Brooklinen. We have Brooklinen sheets all throughout our home. Brooklinen sheets are tried and true. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews, more than any other bedding company. So they are the online bedding company. They have half a million happy sleepers and counting. The sheets don't just feel great, which they absolutely do, but they also look great too. You can mix and match over 20 colors and patterns to make your home not only more comfortable, but more beautiful. In the boys' room here, I went with the Lux Hardcore Bundle for both of their beds. I did all white. I love this 
flowy white farmhouse style that I have going on in this room with their antique inspired poster beds and the white curtains. I wanted to carry that onto the bed, but then also put some vintage or antique quilts at the foot of their beds to bring in that country charm. Now this I love because it really allows me to not put as much wear and tear on those antique quilts so I can wash them less frequently and keep them longer, but then keep them extremely comfortable with their Brooklyn and sheets. I just pulled some out of the washer and the dryer and now get the opportunity to dress their beds with the Lux Hardcore Bundle, which saves you money as opposed to buying them individually. So you save 25% by purchasing it in the bundle. It includes the core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. The sateen and the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle is more tightly woven and heavier in weight, making it warmer and buttery soft, which is perfect for year-round comfort. Brooklinen is having their birthday sale between June 29th and July 6th, so you can get 15% off any Brooklinen products with my link in the description box below. I felt like I really wanted some new curtains for the boys' room because I haven't put anything back up in there since it used to be the girls' room. But I never did decide on something, and I have these still from when it was the girls' room. So I'm just gonna bleach these and put these up. Um, I don't really mind that there's no curtains in the boys' room because I like keeping everything kind of minimal in there. It's just less to clean. We have you know, not very many toys, not very many anything. But when my friends are there, I would like them to be able to, you know, shut curtains if they want privacy or a little bit of light filtering. So I'm gonna bleach these. These have never been washed since I first made them. Get them soaking in some bleach and then hang them fresh in that room because I want something else in there. But this is just what's going to work for this current time because I'm in a time crunch now. I've been meaning to hem the curtains in this room for over a year. I don't remember when I actually did the tutorial on here for them, but I said after that I would hem them and I seriously meant to and never got to it. So instead of taking them down, we're just gonna go around like this. We did the same thing in our cottage. Ruth hemmed them just with them in place. And this just makes the job really fast and easy, which I wish, I can't believe I didn't do it all this time. When we were in town today, we picked up several magic erasers because I really wanted to get all the walls really clean. It's just something that I've really been needing to do. You see the camera, Theo? But in the kitchen with the beadboard, with the little tiny grooves, I clean them all the time, but still everything that gets in the grooves, I can't clean easily. I've tried with a little brush, but we're at the point now where I'm gonna use the ultimate magic eraser and that is paint. And I'm probably going to redo a lot of it. All the paint that's above the stove oven area, I guess because of cooking is quite miscolored. So we'll see if I can blend it. Otherwise, this half of the kitchen here is just going to get repainted, but I'm already loving how fresh it looks over in the stove area. There's been areas that I just never could get clean and now it's perfectly clean and it might just be something I have to do every couple years.
I told you on my front porch how I, I painted it green because it ended up not being the type of wood that should really have ever been raw. So we did have the sore stripped down and I am repainting it, but it has a lot of imperfections like this keyhole spot here. Plus I feel that the transom does not stand out because it's different color. And outside, when I did the door and the transom all green, it actually looked really nice and made it look grander. And so I'm gonna tip that in here, and if tan's not the right color, that's fine. My brush is already wet with tan, and so I was gonna go do a few other things in white. But before that, I had to attempt this. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it real quick and see how it looks. sourdough bread thought that would be nice to have on hand when my guests come also I'm gonna make a couple extra loaves so that Luke and the kids can have some too I fed this last night so it would be nice and active for this See here how bubbly the starter is that's what you want when you're making bread that's when the yeast is very active and will help to make it rise better 20 grams of salt. mess right now my day is consistent oh my gosh I really am a mess wow should probably redo my hair before I talk to you but oh well my day is consisted of laundry making bread painting some things why I don't know just cuz and I'm gonna hang this wreath I have the girls including one of my sister's kids because um, my sister's actually one of the bloggers that comes to this retreat and so she's gonna come obviously she's local but they're helping cleaning the cottage. I'm gonna bring over some magic erasers and work on the stair risers, hang the wreath, and then do the rest tomorrow because my friends are gonna be here tomorrow afternoon. This looks pretty on the cottage. for my friends. We'll see how it goes. So my sister and I, we did a little plan we put together when we would eat out, um, a little charcuterie dinner one night. So we had it planned, I believe, for two breakfasts at home and, no, let's see, three breakfasts at home and then a couple lunches and I believe both dinner or three dinners are out, so. So with that in mind, I tried to get 
everything that I think we'll need. I got a bunch of drinks, a bunch of Izzy's, a bunch of seltzer waters, tons of fruit and deli meats. I have some sour bread, lots of granola, crackers. I'm trying to think like a really nice charcuterie spread, which if I remember to get my camera out, I'll show you what that ends up looking like. So let me give you an overview shot here. All the stuff that I got. All right, here we go. Now I need to just load the fridge. I did not really mean to get this many grapes, but that'll be good for snacks and charcuterie. This will be good for breakfast and then lots of seltzers. Last year we went to Andrea's house from Pine Prospect Home. She got us all a few cute like local things. So I went to a shop in my area and picked up just some cute little tea towels and scrub brushes and a French, I think they call this a French rolling pin. And I'm just gonna put together some little gift bags. Cammy from Cammy Tidbits back there and Sarah from She Holds Dearly. We are visiting a local lavender farm here in our area, which is really pretty and they're having a you pick time. So we thought we'd check that out. This Andrea back there from Pine and Prospect Home and Sarah from Grace in My Space back there. There's Cammy. <laughs> When you have home decor bloggers with you, you go to an antique shop and my favorite one at that. Sarah has her remote work here. Her design class students will be joining her in about a minute or so. Just got in from the thrift store. Oh, Teaching on the fly, but lots of good content to talk about the thrift shop. All right, I'm bringing all my blogging friends to our favorite date night spot, showing them the view. Oh, is this your favorite date night? Oh yeah, it's my favorite date night spot. Yep, there's the, you hear the old music? house and the barn. That would be so pretty with a marble top. Eating sour bread and packing them up for our We now have our party favors. Yeah, yeah. party favors. <laughs> but will the airport security understand how important this is? <laughs> what if they take it? <laughs> no. I can always mail you some more <laughs> if that happens. A few have gone home, but I have Cammie and Sarah left with me and we found a place that I've never actually been to. It looks adorable. I've never been here, so we're all experiencing it together for the first time. Hi. 